Yo, man. It feels like fucking July right now. Oh. Yes. What? First 15 seconds. That's what happens. What? No money for you, moron. Tito, do you remember what we have to do? We gotta go. Yeah, let's go deliver the bad news to homegirl. Is there a shop around here? I feel like we need to we need to stock up on some stuff. Frag grenades. Some med packs. Look at that shop right next to to the house, man. It's convenient as hell. Yeah. Buy a couple of those. Buy a handful of those. Where's my frag grenades, baby? What? That's pretty garbage. Tito, I think I asked you before, man. Can I make? Can I make stuff? Can I make frag grenades? Or any other kind of grenades? The beast you Let me see what you have in stock. Oh, okay, I get it. They all got different shit. Where's the explosives? I am unable to assistance at this time. Nothing. Well, I guess we'll go to the outer courtyard. Why is it trying to target behind me? Like, look at all these people in front of me. I have eyes in the back of my head. Psh, man, you, you're not a mother. Oh, uh, wasn't Dan Aykroyd called mother in uh, sneakers, Tito? My back's killing me right now, man. Let me get comfortable. This is some whack sh Whack. This is r ridiculous. Man, what are you doing? You don't do noises. And no noises. I don't do noises. I don't do accents. Uh, as Jay-Z would say, I'm not a fan of Hondas. A little statue right here. Nope. No info on it. What's up? What's up, Saddler? The council's been telling us not to go near the stones to the east. Just as well. The calf hounds near there seem a lot more vicious. Calf hounds are a joke, lady. We beat six of them up at once. One of them had horns. Imagine in real life, though, Tito, if you had like six rabid dogs run up on you and one of them had horns. Dogs might have horns here soon. Keep up with that bullshit. Yeah, here she is. Alright, we're gonna save it. Just in case she decides to like freak out and kill us. I don't know how she's gonna react to this, Tito. My Typically, droid is still missing. Do they take <laughs> bad news like well? Hole in my aching heart. We were working on my farm to the north of here. 
I was working in the garden outside, and I heard the door to the house. I oh, searched. Yeah, we already went through all that, didn't we? Maybe it was the Mandalore cat hounds are not intelligent. No. <sighs> no. Well, yeah, he was supposed to be. Please, if you come across my droid, bring him to me. I need him so much. My okay. droid is still me. My droid? Destroyed? No. No, this cannot be happening. I can't bear to live without him. Here she goes. She's gonna do something drastic. What? Did we miss this guy earlier? Or is he just here now? I bet you just do his work with Candor. Yeah, it's been rough out here, man. So let me guess, these guys bring calf hounds to the planet, then they become a problem, and then they show up with a guy selling this shit to solve the problem. Unbelievable. Yeah, I'd like to ask you some questions. Yun Patisa, the Chuba Jikuka Naga, Kingu Mua Muli Radwana. Where'd you get this stuff from? Kakin Janawa Bagaon, Bagwash. Nobody likes these Mandalorians. Chiwa Aita Kan Kicha na Tupor Nibo. Yeah, He's just gonna tell you. Hey, my weapon will do this good on that thing. Ooh, my man. Yoink. We gotta be careful with those damn things, though. Flamethrower. Holy shit. What is that? Let's just buy one because that sounds sweet as shit. Mm. Stuns for nine seconds. That's OP. Let's buy one of those. Right. Ions destroy droids and shields. See you, dude. Y'all have fun. Uh, 
Okay. So like a snare. Okay. Don't need a blaster rifle. What's a light? Light repeating? Fifteen thousand. Look at all that shit, Tito. I thought we were doing all right money-wise, but apparently we are not. Oh, I don't give a shit. That's probably going to be bad news for us, though. You should have spared her feelings. Get the fuck out of here. You gotta tell the truth, man. You gotta be honest. Honest with your deception. Uh, uh, uh. uh. This dude's got all sorts of cool shit to play with, though. Uh, uh, -huh. uh flamethrower though. How's that work? We got to. Does that get equipped? Or... Uh, droid upgrade class two. Does the audio sound okay? I feel like I'm getting some, like, feedback or something. Uh huh. Sure. You'll let me know. Uh. Oh, shit. Hell yeah. What? He could dual wheel flamethrowers? Man, you're taking the lead. We gotta see what this does. Do we want to go back to the Jedi Enclave and find out? I don't... We still need to search for the Mandalorian Raiders. I mean, do we really feel like doing a bunch of bullshit talking and stuff? Take the lead, buddy. No, it's not Yoda. It's Vandar. How'd Yoda get such a cool name and that guy's Vandar? Think she's got a room over here? Oh, I bet you she's talking to that guy in the back. Yep. Hmm. How in 
the hell? I'm not good with directions, buddy. Super lost. That's what they were gonna originally call Lost, was Super Lost. They were like, we don't think people actually watch it then. Nope. I don't, I'll never feel up for a game. Is it, as long as we can uh, get past this whole crap. What do you want? Now, Samt, don't be so rude. If it wasn't for this young Jedi, we wouldn't have met. I... I took the loss of my droid much too hard. No kidding. I feel I must apologize. I should say damn right, Tito, because fucking damn right. I was much too attached to my droid. It was all that we was are just left gonna to my husband, it. you see. Maybe I thought that through the droid, my husband could live again. I get Be it, with me but you gotta but move I on. Far. I could not see you lawyer up, and living you a hit the gym, life. and you delete in my your data grief, pad. I returned here and ran into Samt, an absolutely fascinating man. <sighs> yeah, he seems quite nice. Samt and I got to talking, and, well, we have a lot in common. I think we'll be seeing more of each other. It's funny how things work out in the end. Maybe there is such a thing as fate, after all. But I think we yeah. should be going now. I it's fucking so told you. I told to you about. two episodes ago. I just wanted to thank you for what you've done for me and what you tried to do. Goodbye. And tried. thank you. I did. It was no try. I yoded that shit. All right, let's go talk to this dude now. Why are you bothering me? I'm here to speak with the council. Not. I'm gonna go rob your house. Alright, Elise, have fun. Enjoy that sweet human company. Mm hmm. If you have questions, you should direct them toward the Jedi Council members. Right. Greetings, young apprentice. Have you come seeking knowledge of the past? As a chronicler of the Academy here on Dantooine, I feel it is my duty to share the history of our order with the newly initiated. Unfortunately, our recent history is one of tragedy and bloodshed. The Mandalorian Wars, the fall of Revan and Malak, the rise of the Has Sith. there ever been a peaceful war? There are important Tito. lessons to be learned from these events, if we do not wish to repeat the mistakes of our past. There were a bunch of people just got together, and, like just formed a line, you know, and, like set up tables and drinks and stuff, made some food, and then they all sat down across from each other. And they were like, I hate this about you. I hate that about you. And they just, you know, just, like, like four mile long table. And just, you know, you could move spots and sit at different places and whatever. You know, so you'd never talk to the same person. And then, uh, at the end they were like, God damn, man. Like, we're all cool except, like, there's a handful of shitheads around here. So they got rid of the, uh... Of course, I could not tell you got the, rid of the shitty people. history of our order. The Jedi have existed for thousands upon thousands of years. And then they just, you know, hung out. as old as the Republic itself. Instead, I will begin 40 years ago with the War of Exar Kun. Like Malak and Revan, Exar Kun was a I Jedi who fell happen. to the dark side and, and led then an the, uh, the one the Jedi people, and the Republic. Exar Kun Republic, was defeated. Whatever had that, that like, like, actually had an army. And our own order, probably came weakened. down, saw them all eating and years, talking and shit. And they're like, you know what? We're just taking all this shit. The then they took all that shit. Because they were too busy eating and drinking to like defend themselves and stuff. Hey, you're going to talk the whole time he explains the Jedi history? I don't give two shits. All things in time. 
You shall learn that history is an intricate weaving About the Jedi events. history, nobody does. No one thing can well, be understood without obviously some people. context. Twenty years ago, the Mandalorians, aware that the Republic was in a weakened state, began conquering small worlds on the Outer Rim. Mm -hmm. They were careful to choose only planets outside the Republic's jurisdiction. No After kidding. much debate, the Senate chose not to intervene. As long as the Mandalorians avoided planets that were members of the Republic itself, there would be no retaliation. Okay, so are we... Are we part of the Republic? That's... We are, right? Let me write this down. I got I got uh, my, my notebook out here still, Tito. We're gonna write... We're gonna take down some notes. So, we're gonna put us... And then... Republic. And then we're gonna go... Uh, them... Uh, them's be the Sith, right? And then now we got these guys who are Mandalorians. And they, uh, they're like space pirates, right, Tito? So we got space pirates, uh, you know, doing their thing. I'm just gonna write doing the thing. Right? They're just doing the thing. Living a dream. Uh, you know, I mean, essentially space is like Earth, uh, you know, a couple thousand years ago. Floating around the water, checking shit out. And you're like, oh man, that looks like some cool shit I can go fuck up and take. And you do it because they didn't stop you. Right? I mean, they didn't have like a, uh, like a signal fire that went up to the, the chiefs in the what in the woods or wherever the fuck you know and they're like oh man you see fire we got to go down there and protect them you know i bet you they did and then one time someone like fucking cut their toe off or some bullshit right and they lit the fire and they ran all the way down there and they're like are we being attacked what's going on and then they were like no uh little timmy over here cut his fucking toe off so they probably drowned timmy just got rid of him then because he just wasted a lot of people's time because nobody liked timmy to begin with and they were like, you know what? Fuck it. We're not doing this anymore. It sounds well, like you a can big mistake. Blame the, Republic. the memory of war was uh, fresh in everyone's mind. So you can't let people was get too big to for their britches. The That's what I'm saying. Against the Mandalorians. So they fuck with but shit the end, outside our jam. The Mandalorians stockpiled resources from their conquered worlds. Fuck with shit outside our jam. Seven years ago, they launched a simultaneous attack in three separate sectors of Republic space. The Senate had no choice but to retaliate with the entire Republic fleet. Mm -hmm. The Mandalorian Wars had begun. Well, I could have fucking told you that was going to happen. The Republic petitioned the Jedi Council for aid, but there were many factors to consider before we allowed ourselves to be drawn into another conflict so soon after the war with Exar Kun. While the Jedi Council preached patience, there were many among our order who were eager for us to join the battle. Two young knights in particular demanded immediate action, Revan and Malak. They rallied many of the Jedi to their cause. So are and Jedi against the wishes of their masters, like their own the thing too. Fleet battling the Mandalorians. Revan was a brilliant. Like they're not part of the Republic. And the Republic fleet began to win victory after victory. Four years ago, the Mandalorians surrendered unconditionally. Oh, okay. Mm, see, I think that was the beginning of Revan's plan right there. No one is denying that Revan was one of the keys to defeating the Mandalorians. But something happened out there on the Outer Rim. Instead of returning after the war's end, the ships under Revan's command went deep into unexplored space. They claimed to be searching for the last remnants of the Mandalorian fleet. All contact was lost. For many months, it was assumed some great disaster had befallen the entire fleet. Everyone thought they were dead. There were unsubstantiated rumors of Revan and Malak being seen on a number of different planets during these months. Scattered sightings that were never confirmed. Hmm. So I guess 
<clears throat> obviously, <coughs> we're going to go searching Maybe they found for these two morons. Discovered hyperspace routes to the ends of the galaxy. Nobody knows. Three years ago, Revan and Malak returned at the head of a massive invasion fleet. Revan had assumed the title of Sith Lord. The hero had become a conqueror. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he went in and said, hey, let me lead the Mandalorians. And they were like, well, it's either that or you kill us all, right? And they were like, yep. So they made a, a hasty decision to live. And now, now we got to deal with all that shit. Initially, all because the bulk of the Sith Force were former Republic soldiers who had served under Revan. With each conquest, thousands more flocked to join the invaders, swelling their numbers. Even many of our own order have betrayed us, lured by Sith promises of riches and power. But what is more disturbing? is the size of the Sith fleet itself. Some of the ships in the Sith fleet are those that were under Revan's command during the Mandalorian Wars. But many more are of an alien design we've never seen before. Oh, shit. The source of this massive fleet is one of the many things about the Sith we cannot explain. It seems impossible to have created it in such a short time, yet we cannot deny its existence. All right, so like the Republic and the Jedi be working together, and the Siths are basically evil Jedi, right, Tito? They're just Jedi who went to the dark side, right? So they're dark Jedis. Uh, and then possibly working with Mandalorians. And then now we have alien races and he sounded so fucking uh props to this dude he was like and then we found an alien ship like he's like the thought of them finding an alien ship is foreign to him look at that noggin that dude is pretty smart you're telling me that when they find something that they've never seen before who i got a feeling we're in for some shit buddy for two years, the Sith were all but invincible. Fortunately, Bastila and her battle meditation allowed the Republic to win a few key victories and kept the Sith from total triumph. And I think you want to go talk to these people and learn all this shit. The Dark Lord. I don't. Bastila was with the strike team that tried to capture Revan, as you probably know. She was there at Revan's end. That was nearly a year ago, but things have not improved. Malak has stepped in and assumed the mantle of Dark Lord for himself, Ooh. though he's far from Revan's equal in strategy or tactics. I don't think Still, Revan's that. his fleet continues to grow in both ships and soldiers. If we do not find some way to stop the Sith soon, Malak will overwhelm us with sheer numbers. But I still think Basil is working with her, so we gotta write that down. Uh, Revan dead, question... Uh, Bastila friend or foe I guess that really depends on my actions though doesn't it who do I agree with I don't know man what do I I keep saying I like, I forget you're here Tito Tito what what do, what do we think about this? Yeah, where are these this archives? This facility is a training academy. The archives here are restricted to those who have attained the rank of master. We must protect over-eager Padawans from being exposed to dangerous knowledge. The I'm pursuit if of he's, knowledge if he is calls a noble me a Padawan, goal, one but more there time. are some things that require the wisdom of a master to truly that understand. Is... You should ponder the history of Revan. It contains many lessons you may need if we hope to defeat Malak. And the you know Sith. what? Maybe Padawan's apt. Uh, maybe maybe that stuff's a little too big for my tiny moronic brain. Uh, yeah, may I'll be the going. Force be with you. And and with you, my friend. All right, let's talk to Baby Yoda. Good evening, Apprentice. I trust your training goes well. 
Hmm. I'd say it's I okay. Ever be seeking knowledge. What is it you wish to know? But yeah, damn right, seeking knowledge. That was my middle name. What is it now? Uh, I know everything. I know the answers to all. I got plugged into the information machine. They found out that I was uh, smart sensitive. I knew Revan as a promising young pupil. Ooh, gave me to ask Revan about Bastila too. In force, but also headstrong and proud. Such traits are not and unusual now, in a Padawan. Perhaps that was why I did not see the true Malik extent of the, the danger. Many of the young Jedi admired Revan, including Malak. When Revan set off to challenge the Mandalorians, Malak was the first to join the cause. And when Revan fell to the dark side. It was inevitable Malik would fall as well. Mm -hmm. Wait, wait. Like, just keep telling me more. I don't need to ask a stupid ass question in the middle of this cool ass story. Yeah, it's like, go on. Just. I don't like either one of those questions. Because this implies that, like, we forced him to do it. Revan was always the leader, the more powerful of the pair. When Revan fell, we had hoped the Sith threat was ended. But Malak quickly assumed Revan's role and has embraced the dark side power as fully as his old master ever did. Now, Malak leads the Sith Armada against the Republic. <sighs> almost thinks vengeance. Almost makes you wonder death. if draw Malak ever. That was his plan the from the jump. The dark side. Maybe it was Malak's plan. Until they surpass those of his old master. Only and he's you the and true. Bastila together can stop Malak now. The way ahead will be difficult for young Bastila. And for you. But you must draw strength from each other. Tito, what if like May the force be with you? Is there anything else you would like to know? Maybe Malik knew a little bit more about, you know, like how the system works. And he saw Revan and was like, you know what? Maybe I can manipulate this guy. And then he had him do all that bad shit. And then maybe Revan is dead. And he assumed position. Or maybe he did all that, told Revan to fake his death. Maybe Revan and Malik are the same person. They can't be the same people. They know each other, right? They are two different, distinct people. Hmm. Ant, why don't you just play the game and stop asking so many questions? We got all that, I right? I knew Revan as a prop. Many of the young... And when Revan yep. fell... Revan yeah, was always the leader, the more powerful of the pair. When Revan fell, we had hoped the Sith threat. Now, Malak leads the Sith Armada against the Republic. Hate and vengeance for his master's death draw Malak ever further down the path of the dark side. Only you and ba the way ahead will be difficult. Is there anything else you would like to know? The Mandalorians have not hurt anyone before now. We thought they would keep their activities down with our presence here, but it seems we were tragically wrong. What do you mean? They you haven't hurt anyone before. Didn't they say that them? they just went? It might be good training to like test your fighting skills this way. Planets outside of like their jurisdiction. <laughs> They've never hurt anyone. I get it. Anyone, any, us. They haven't hurt any of anybody in the Republic. But it's interesting, though. I mean, if you know about it and you know shit's happening, just why why do you even let it happen? Just nip it at the bud. Ant, it's not that simple. Apparently, it is. It is. When you find out they go to a planet, just blow the planet up. Get rid of them. You blow a planet up with some Mandalorians on it, and they're going to go 
shit, man. Well, we can't go to planets anymore because they might blow the like they're all they've already said we'll t we'll take the deal. So they turn their ass around in space and they go they go to a galaxy far, far away. <clears throat> and if they did that, you wouldn't have the Mandalorian Wars to look forward to. And all the sweet TV shows and movies and games and action figures and stuff you could sell with it. And then you go, oh shit, you got me. We don't want to say anything about that guy not like us. Well. Who cares? Fuck him. May the force be with you. With you, my my friend, as well. Let's talk to I the... see you insist on wandering the halls of our airclave <clears throat> when you should be busy studying your lessons. My training's going well, it baby. That soon you will achieve the rank of Padawan. Master Jar is most I'm impressed already, with your progress. I've already done it. I've been a Padawan. I still think it's racist. Forward too quickly. Tito, the, the, the Force was strong with us from the time the character creator was done. The Force has been searching for us since... since what minute one man second one it was right after we got on that ship man it was like bam some shit happened who lived we did who else F fucking Karth anyone else that's it Jack that's it and we still don't know where we came from which is really bothering me I don't want any more crap from that person Do I need to go talk to that, the dude in the, in the training hall? Is that what we need to be doing, Tito? How's your training going? Well, if you guys didn't have me doing 45 fucking things at once, maybe I could get something done. I thought I already picked... I'm a fucking consular, baby. Alright, so the, we're done with the computer. We're gonna go talk to... Who's this? Czar. The dark side still taints the ancient grove. Your lessons cannot continue until the spreading corruption of the dark side has been stopped. Okay. This is your task, Apprentice. Alright, we gotta go stop the corruption. So let's go. 38 minutes? That's a decent, uh. Decent little sesh. Tito, let's. Let's get, uh. Let's, let's get prepped up. And then. This next episode is going to be action packed. But we had fun. This was, we learned a little bit. Uh, we learned some backside to the story. We've got a lot of questions to ask now. Uh,. That's it, right? We learned some shit. We got stocked up. Greetings, Let's talk to all these other idiots out I think here. I can safely assume you are a member of the Jedi Order. Has the Council agreed to hear our petition? <clears throat> Who is this guy? Oh shit! Maybe I shouldn't have talked to that guy. V very well. Thank you, Master Jedi. Stop calling me a master, and I feel like Hello. that was probably I'm pretty I'm not rude. Good at explaining things. If you have any questions, please ask my husband. Who, what? Oh, I get it. Okay. Good luck with that position. Have you found the Mandalorian Raiders yet? 
Everyone wants me to do something. Fuck, man. Like, they're all just standing around. That's... Ant, you okay? Nah, man. I feel like I'm at work again. Please, find them and destroy... Motherfucker. See, this is why I stopped talking to people. Ant, why don't you... Mm, mother shit. You should have another... You should have another drink. Ant, how many beers have you had? One. One. I got home from work. Chilled out for a few. Had a beer. Ridiculous. I do like that his name's Adam Larp. Uh. Yeah. He's just out here. Los Angeles role playing. Selling guns. Living the dream. He's the first one out here. He's like. And plus, he's an alien. Look at that guy. What, what race is he? Do they call them races? Is that rude or wrong? Or are they species? You know? Or in space, have people just gotten... I say people. Have, uh, has everything evolved to where you just, like, don't even give a shit? It's like, if you're walking on two feet, have two arms with, like, grippy action, uh, bummy jams, you know? Like, if you can grip a beer bottle and shoot a, a, a gun, uh, like, that's pretty much the epitome of, uh, what, evolution? Like, what more can you do? Like, we are the shit, right? Like, you see this alien. That's what he looks like. Got a big ass head. Arms. Can shoot shit. Standing up straight. Got legs. Ooh, this... Man. We're gonna save it. We're gonna overwrite that shit. And we're gonna be back, Tito. And we are gonna stop the corruption. What corruption? The corruption from the grove... Uh, the corruption from our minds, the corruption from our hearts. Tito, we are going to stop it. We are going to put purity back into our souls, and we are going to let the light take over. <laughs>